All new this morning, for some, dating can be daunting, depressing, or just plain dead. But with more singles in the United States than ever before, you're not alone. According to a recent report from City Lab and the Martin Prosperity Institute, in 2013, singles outnumbered married couples. As WDSU News reporter Susan Isaacs tells us, the city with the most singles might surprise you. A recent study revealed that just over 50% of Americans reported being single, including people who were divorced or never married. That number is up from nearly 38% in 1976, when the U.S. Census first started collecting data. So where are the singles? Your first guess may be a big fancy town like New York or L.A., but that's not really the case. New Orleans has the most singles per capita than any other big city in America. 55.7% of people in the Crescent City are not married. So why is marriage on the decline? Relationship doctor Matt Morris. I think there is less pressure to marry and less pressure to marry early. Um, with our rising divorce rate, marriage is sometimes less attractive. Uh, we know that the divorce rate hovers right now around 47 to 48%. With so many fish in the sea, you'd think dating's a cinch, but not according to these New Orleans singles. Fresh Johnson, Emily Hingle, Mason Harrison, Doug Thane, Morgan Valerie, and Jason Strickland have all found success in their careers, but their dating lives are a different story. And that's the biggest thing about dating here. Your options get them. They, they, they start off slim and they get slimmer. Another thing I find dating here is uh, myself, I don't have any children. Um, at this age, a lot, of, a lot of the women that I run across have kids. He brings up a great point. Um, New Orleans is the home and mecca of the crazy baby mama. And I, <laughs> I just, <laughs> and you know, for some, someone like me, I don't have kids. Not that I have anything against people that do have kids, but I also want to, you know, be able to start my family from scratch or just not have to deal with the potential drama that could be associated with said crazy baby mama, you know? <laughs> some of the problems I'm coming into is that I'm not really ready for kids, but, you know, I meet a girl and it's like, they merely want kids. So, you date more than a year, she's ready for the ring, she's ready for commitment, she wants, she wants to lock you down. You may not be ready for that. You would say that you find it hard to find somebody in the same like kind of social status as you, whether they're making more money, making less money, do you guys? Um, I think especially with the way the economy is today, nobody has stability, especially when they're younger, um, the way people used to get almost right out of college. So they can't afford to get married and support somebody, buy a house, have kids. So people are delaying that for a much longer time. How many of you really go out to bars and expect to find someone to date seriously? I don't. Seriously? Now sometimes, I know some people that have met people and relationships that have gone quite well. But I don't, when I go to a bar, I'm going out to have fun. I'm going out to drink. Yeah. I'm going yeah. out to, you know, lay back, kick back with my girls. My interest is not, and honestly, if someone approaches me in a bar, there's a really good chance mm -hmm. that I'm either ignoring them the rest of the time they're there, if they come to approach me. Um, if I do give them my number, which almost never happens, um, there is a really good chance of us building on that from outside of the bar area. From a man's perspective, why do women yeah. do that? G give the yeah. number out? No, why do, why do women go out? And, you know, it may be a group of women, but why do you go out to the bar, or the club, or a party, wherever, and get there, and then when a guy tries to talk to you? Because I wasn't there for you. Because, can I just add something? Sometimes, that's because, not always true, but most because times you, I wasn't there for you. Because if you are, um, you know, upstanding, decent human being, with great qualities, why is this gentleman at the club, why, why can't he possess the same thing? Just because you're, you're at the right, state. You're right, but I think my mind frame when I'm going in is, um, I don't know if I can really judge your character at this point. Oh, okay. If you, if, if I know I've had two shots at this point, <laughs> and you may have had four or five shots at this point, and we start talking, and maybe you're attractive, and I'm thinking, or I've seen you out, because okay, it's New Orleans, more than likely I've seen you out. I okay. know your crew, I know what you do. I can't really say, well, this is a really good guy. I don't, I can't judge you by your actions at that point, because they may be a little different from how you are on a regular day. And unfortunately, I may miss out on getting to know you better because of that, but that does, and with it being a big bar scene, I think that's another reason why it's hard to date anyone. So what are your options as a single? 
Some may suggest going along as a third will, asking your married counterparts to help you in your hunt to find that significant other. Another option? Online. But that may or may not be a good thing, depends on who you ask. A combination of putting yourself out there online um, um, appropriately and leveraging your, your friend network to help find somebody is a great way to do it. I would prefer you not even have all that. Mm. And if I didn't work while I worked, I wouldn't have it either. Because it leaves nothing to the imagination. You know, there may be an attractive guy and he may just post the most bogus, outrageous stuff on Instagram and all of a sudden I'm like, Ugh, I don't like him no more. I don't think he's cute no more. It can change a lot because you see so much, you know, I was dating someone, my ex actually. She was um, big into Instagram, you know, and I called it thirst trap shorty <laughs> because all her pictures, you know, she, she like you said, you, she left nothing for imagination. Right. They may have to go beyond their imagination because being single in the big easy isn't so easy. On your side, Susan Isaacs, WDSU News.